pretty. Oh, Buzz, you're back. Hey. Where have you been? <laughs> I'll show you. Hey. I don't get it. Huh? Oh, right. Buzz Lightyear Mission Logs. Episode one, blast off. This is the mission log for my trip. Wow. Over 450 days in space. That's longer than any astronaut or cosmonaut has spent in space on a single mission. Ever. Wow. Yay! It's the space shuttle! Precisely, Rex. NASA's space shuttle is just one way to get to the International Space Station. Another way is a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. I took the shuttle. It looks like a rocket! Good eye. It is part rocket. It's also part spaceship and part airplane. Right. The space shuttle is made up of three main parts. The part that goes in orbit is called, well, the orbiter. The big orange tank in the middle is the external tank. For liftoff, we need these white rockets called solid rocket boosters. 10, 9, 8, go for main engine start. 7, 6, main engine ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of Discovery. Discovery, go and throttle up. Captain, go ahead and up. To infinity and beyond! Look at it go! That's uh, uh, something else, eh? Roger roll, Discovery. Two minutes after the shuttle takes off, the rockets separate. Oh. Six minutes later, the external tank detaches and burns up in the Earth's atmosphere, while the orbiter continues into space. But how do you get on the station? You get there through a process called a rendezvous. Ronda who? Rendezvous. It's French for showing up the right place at the right time. <laughs> That's right, Ham. Through a series of complicated maneuvers, we get the shuttle into alignment and attach it to the station. Then we open our docking port, which connects to their docking port. Nice rendezvous! Wow, Buzz, you're actually in space. How fun! <laughs> well, yes, it was fun, but space cargo duty isn't all about fun and games, Rex. These guys work very hard. In fact, the International Space Station was built module by module, with pieces brought up on shuttle flights and Russian rockets. Look, it's like a puzzle. Oh, look again. Those pieces are the size of a school bus. Each module is designed for a different purpose. Some modules are for basic living, some are for experiments. When I arrived, there was only three crew members aboard. Oh. Newly installed modules can accommodate a six-person crew, plus visitors. That's one crowded toy box. Some of my fellow crew members like to say life in space has the feel of a campout. Oh, I love campouts! Except the sleeping bags are strapped to the walls, and you can't make delicious hot schmoes. Uh, that's s'mores, Buzz. Oh, right. <laughs> if you want to know more, you can visit this NASA website. Buzz Lightyear, a real space ranger.